make great companions. They keep us healthy and happy. Millions of Americans who own pets like dogs and cats often have fewer doctor visits than people who don't own pets. That's right. Carlene Montes de Oca is the author of Dog as My Doctor, Cat as My Nurse. And she will be here to talk about the benefits of pets for our health and introduce us to a dog that's up for adoption. Nice. So let's send it out to Mabrisa, who's out on the patio with our guest right now. Good morning, Mabrisa. Good morning, Danny and Stacy. I'm joined by Carlene, and she is the author of Dog as My Doctor, Cat as My Nurse. So please tell us a little bit about your book. Sure. My book is, again, Dog is My Doctor, Cat is My Nurse, and it's an animal lover's guide to living healthier, happier, and a little more extraordinary. It's really about how our dogs and cats help enhance our health and our well-being. Because it's been clinically proven that yes. having a pet at home reduces stress, anxiety, and increases overall well-being, correct? That's correct. There are so many benefits, and it seems like every day there's a new study coming out that shows us more and more beneficial aspects. And it's just for the rest of us to start catching on and taking more animals into our home and really experiencing those amazing benefits. Even if you're on the couch petting your cat <laughs> yes. can really improve, I've heard, heart disease as well. That's true because think about it. When you're stroking an animal, especially a cat, they're so calm and they're purring and you feel them on you and they're soft and your heart rate starts to go down, your blood pressure starts to go down. And then if you have a dog, they'll come bump you and get you off the couch to go for a walk. Yeah, and that's important too, to yes. wake up, exercise with your dog, and even in the afternoon, right, or evening hours? You know what? The more the merrier. In fact, it's funny. I have a story in here about a woman who was an, an older lady who said, I can no longer walk. I'm just getting older. And the doctor said, no, you got to start walking. So she took a dog with her, her dog, started walking five minutes a day, then it became 10 minutes a day. And she was convinced she could no longer do it. So now she's doing 45 minutes twice a day. And her doctor says, I wish I could clone that dog. <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, but even schools use dogs during finals That's week right. as a great stress reliever. Absolutely. Not only in colleges, but also children. Did you know that dogs can help kids even learn to, to read? Because yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes they're very shy about reading out loud, but they, if you read to a dog, they see that that improves a child's ability to be able to read and they feel more comfortable and they don't feel judged. And even in the workplace as in well. In the workplace as well, absolutely. There is, um, we see that they calm the employees. We see that it provides more interaction between employees. So you have more camaraderie. And some of my people who I've interviewed even say that it makes them more productive and more creative. And we have a special furry guest with us. Her name is Brooke and we want to help her find a forever home. Absolutely. Brooke has been at the Marin, at the uh, sorry Santa Barbara Humane Society for about a year and she was found in Ventura. She's five years old and she's amazing. She's so, so calm and she's so lovely and she could be just the best dog doctor for anybody out there. So hopefully we can find her a forever home. And your book tonight, you're actually going to hold an event at Chaucer. I am. I'm very excited about that because I'm from Carpentry and I'm happy to be here just promoting my book in my hometown. Chaucer's event is going to be tonight at 7 p.m. And 50% of my proceeds are going to be donated to the Santa Barbara Humane Society. What time's the event? Seven o'clock. So it's a book signing, correct? It is a book signing, yes. Oh, absolutely. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. And please stick around for more news, weather, and traffic after the break.